Hey guys, this is Elizabeth from Happy Hippo Finds. Just wanted to show off, um, I know people want to know how to use uh, Dan from 3D Designs, his four tray. So I just wanted to show how I used it. So I've got one right here. As you can see, um, I got the orange stoppers so that um, I wouldn't lose them because I lose everything. Um, and this one is actually the clear because I like it. Um, the light pad shines right through it. I think it's very funky. I don't have to worry about contrasting colors with anything. So that's why I got it. So first things first is you want to um, make sure you have a stopper on each end and they're actually placed on correctly. There's another video that I did on how to put the stoppers on. Um, so just look for that. You can just search uh, for that. In Dan's group it's under videos. And then um, after that other thing is you want to make sure A you're not going to get confused on what colors you have where and B you want to make sure you don't overfill them. So uh, I today instead of labeling them all which usually is what I'll do if the colors are really close I'll just take one of these white labels and I'll put it right here on the ends and um, they peel off really easily and I actually have like a whole stack of them and I just pick when I do my colors and reuse them like that. Um, but I chose four colors that are not close together at all, so I can't get confused. Um, and then I poured each little one inside. And so you want to make sure the stoppers are on correctly. And then, yay! So depending on what you're doing, so I want to use this color. So the best way to do it is actually shake it um, away from me. You don't want to shake it right here. I've learned that you can't get the grooves to work, so you want to do it the one away from you. Um, and this one I actually filled a little bit too much, so you can see it's not doing a very good job lining up where this one is and this one is. This one actually probably doesn't have enough, but I only have a little bit of that color, so I didn't want to put a whole lot in there. Um, so very easy. And then when you're done, this is why you don't want to overfill it. Is because when you go to pour each separate one on, if you've overfilled a corner, when you do it, what happens is it will actually overflow. So I'm going to do the one that I overfilled. So all you want to do is pop off your cover, being careful because there will be drills down at the end, and then pour it in like this very gently. I just do a little bit of tapping, um, being very careful, um, and then I also will use my tweezers to do it. I found it does a very good job, but you don't want to be violent because if you're going to be very harsh on it, you're going to actually um, dump your other ones out. So this is a way to keep yourself organized. And then just like that, stopper, I just click back on, making sure it's secure again. So, I'm going to be posting this um, not only on YouTube, but it's going to be under Dan 3D Designs group. Um, I am a moderator over there. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. Have a good one.